Hey, it's your boy G Pack from Chirac. Please don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And tonight we have Mr. Lord Jamal from the legendary group um, Brand Nubian. Shout out to Brand Nubian. You know, he has some very, very interesting comments on P. Diddy about the things he was hearing about him in the industry that they've been circling around. And he also pointed at Diddy would allegedly do anything for some money. So how did Diddy get $45 million from Clive Davis to start Bad Boy Records. He wants to know what Diddy did to get that money. But enough of me talking. I'm going to let Lord Jamal speak in. Did you know that? I was f***ed up, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> he was like, oh, f***ed up. Just the way he It's crazy. Um, what do you really think about that situation? I mean, you know, a lot of us have fucked with Puff for a long time. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, as far as just, like, just what he symbolizes and and, and just... What do you mean? Like, to, he, me, I brought, to me, I feel like, yo, he can't, he brought out the best rapper in the world. He also got... The, if you think that he's the best rapper in the world, he also helped get him killed by his actions. You know what I mean? Bye, bye, bye. Damn. You know what I mean? You heard what he said? It was Diddy fault that that bad thing happened to Notorious Big in California that night. He shouldn't have been attending that party anyway. Biggie could have sat on his porch in Brooklyn and got 10 million copies of Life After Death and went diamond off his porch. They had no business over there on the West Coast. Finish Lord Jamal. In that climate, right. having them doing any kind of fucking promotion or some shit over there. So what? You had a new album out. You didn't have to go to L.A. The fuck was that about? I'd have been like, nah, nah, big, you can't. And now you want to go to fucking the parties at the fucking whatever center? Get the fuck out of here, And they say that he didn't even want to go. So, anyway. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Um... He also, Puffy, is more responsible for, you know, corrupting hip-hop with the shiny suit type of uh, angle. You know what I mean? The whole... You heard that? Yeah, come on. He's the one that tried to put these locks. One of the greatest hardcore rap groups, he tried to put them in a, in a shiny suit. You see that? He tried to put the locks in shiny suits. He thought they were going to sound, I mean, sell like mates, but they didn't. The locks were too rough for that, and they didn't like the shiny suits at all. Like, and that was crazy. Like, you know what I mean? He was one of the first ones to, he's not no real rapper, but fuck it. I'll let niggas write my shit, and I'm going to rap. Like, nah, there was people doing that before him. What, 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 what? JD, oh. no? JD, no, I think JD writes raps. I think. Oh shit! I, he was writing crisscross shit. What are you yeah, doing? he wrote oh, crisscross man. raps. Oh, okay. he writes. Oh, but I'm saying, look, what executives did you know before that that was like really all rapping and having people write rap, all and getting on records, and all in the videos, yeah. like serious, more than just singing. He was rapping on these fucking joints. Right? Did he start that whole executive thing, dancing, all in the video? All on track, all saying I lives, you know. Diddy, he wanted to be big the whole time. People did have writers back in the days, but it wasn't as known and it wasn't as accepted. It was more, you know, such and such wrote this. You know what I mean? Like, we're not going to put it on Front Street. Run DMC wrote shit for the Beastie Boys and all that, but it wasn't put on Front Street at that time. Got it. You know what I mean? Like, right. He was one of the people that helped make it acceptable um, in many different kind of ways. Right, and he's you know around street saying? dudes after that. Yes. And then, 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 then hip-hop yes. turned into streets. Yes, and so, so now you if you know. got the money and you got the power to move people around, <laughs> Wolf, rest in peace, right, that right. used to be around him, then, you know, Wolf was a real street dude from where? Mount Vernon. Like, nigga, oh, if you right. was from Harlem, why you ain't have a bunch of Harlem dudes around you? He had all these Mount Vernon dudes around him. Mm. Young guns, all that type of... You know what I mean? Like, fuck out of here.
from Mount Vernon. So do you believe that the situation, like that they're claiming right now, the accusations, like, you know, the sex rings and... Do you I mean, think he's gay? I mean, from what I could see, I first of all, I've heard rumors for a long time. That he was gay? Yes. Oh, that, that he fucks with dudes and girls type of shit. What you know what I mean? Fuck? For a long time, I heard shit like that. And that's just some back industry shit. Um, it's just like certain people, when they don't have certain morals or where they're, where they're willing to do anything to get on, you know what I mean? I think he and was he, one of those, those. I think he was one of those dudes that was willing to do anything to get on type of shit. Like, do you remember there was a a, a video with Dougie Fresh and Puffy was it's time it's party time it's party time tonight and then they was in the street in Harlem and they was you know what I mean Puffy's in that video dancing but he's also like in that video he's like the Farnsworth. He's holding like a jacket, I think, for for Dougie oh, Fresh shit. type of shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, oh, tell you, look this shit up. What? He's holding a jacket for Dougie Fresh, and and maybe he even like holds it up and put it on him a type of shit. Or, Got it. You know what I mean? Got like, it. like the he Fonsworth. was willing to do anything to get on type of shit. Like, you know what I mean? Oh. God. Like, listen, I'll be a dancer. I'll be a fucking, you know, I'll be a valet. I'll, you know. Wow. And then he, he fell into the to the hey I'll work at the record label you know what I mean like so I'm gonna show you the guy I mean excuse me I'm gonna show you guys the video that Lord Jamal is talking about you heard what he said Diddy was willing to do anything to get in an executive spot so here's the video Diddy right there. 